we are given that alpha and beta are the roots of the equation x square minus px plus r is equal to 0. Therefore, the sum of the roots alpha plus beta is equal to p and the product of the roots alpha beta is equal to r. Let's denote these results by 1 and 2 respectively. Now we are also given that alpha upon 2 and 2 beta are the roots of the quadratic equation x square minus qx plus r is equal to 0. Therefore the sum of the roots alpha upon 2 plus 2 beta is equal to q. And the product of the roots alpha upon 2 times 2 beta which is equal to alpha beta is equal to r. Let's denote the first of these results by 3. And note that the second result, alpha beta is equal to r, is the same as result 2 derived above. Therefore, there is no additional information here. Now, result 3 implies that alpha plus 4 beta is equal to 2q. And result 1 is alpha plus beta is equal to p. Subtracting, we get 3 beta is equal to 2q minus p. And therefore, beta is equal to 2q minus p upon 3. From result 1, alpha is equal to p minus beta. Substituting the value of beta, we get p minus 2q minus p upon 3, which is equal to 3p minus 2q plus p upon 3. And therefore, alpha is equal to 4p minus 2q upon 3, which can be written as 2 upon 3 times in brackets 2p minus q. Therefore, alpha is equal to 2 upon 3 times in brackets 2p minus q and beta is equal to 2q minus p upon 3. Now from result 2, we know that alpha beta is equal to r. Substituting the value of alpha and beta, we get r is equal to 2 upon 3 times in brackets 2p minus q times 1 upon 3 times in brackets 2q minus p. And therefore, r is equal to 2 upon 9 times 2p minus q times 2q minus p, which is the required answer.